Hi everyone, my name is Dominic Chen and I'm going to present our work titled Nukabot Design of Care for Human Microbe Relationships. First, I explain the context of our research. In the recent years, research on human computer interaction designs for non human beings has flourished and numerous animal computer interaction studies have been conducted. Indeed, many of them have been inspired by or echo with ethical and aesthetical discussions in the field of post humanities by such prominent thinkers like Donna Haraway and Anna Tsin. Our research refers to the theoretical work of Maria Puch de la Belacasa, who elaborates on the relationship between soil, as in agriculture, and human beings. Nukadoko is a traditional technique to ferment pickles in Japan using a mixture of rice bran, salt, and water that is placed within a wooden plastic or enamel bucket. This wet mass of rice bran becomes a bed for symbiotic culture of lactic acid bacteria, yeast, and other microbes. The sour pickles are called nukazuke. Generally, humans take care of the nukadoko by stirring its rice bran with their hands every day. As a background, traditionally Japanese households have treasured their nukadokos, which were passed from generation to generation. However, this tradition is gradually disappearing, as maintaining a nukadoko is considered burdensome by young or small families, because a nukadoko is easily spoiled when one forgets to maintain it. Our hypothesis is that affection toward the fermenting microbes becomes critical to sustain a nukadoko on a long-term basis. So our, our research question is how can we employ HCI to help humans take care of fermenting microbes inside a nukadoko on a long-term basis without spoiling it or abandoning affection toward them? For our product design, we studied and introduced the concept of yokai. The ethnographer Michael Dylan Foster introduced the Japanese culture of yokai to the English-speaking world by describing it as a monster or spirit, a ghost, or a shape-shifting animal. As a symbol of liminality or in-betweenness, yokais have mediated the human world and the intangible realms of more than human beings. Yokai are thought to interact with humans by speaking natural languages. We translated this inspiration from the yokai culture to facilitate the communication with our system. And we incorporated an interactive eyeball to the wooden bucket. And we also added sensors to evaluate the fermenting status of the rice bran in real time and voice interaction functionality to let humans communicate with the microbes of the nukadoko. This is a system diagram. Basically, the sensors probe various biological values of the rice bran every minute and store them on a cloud database. Every time a human asks a question or the nukabot gives an alert, scripts on the cloud server calculates the fermentative state of the nukadoko and generates the utterances accordingly. Here's a scene where the human caretaker asks the question, how are you, to the nukabot, and it answers accordingly to the analysis of its sensor data. Here's another scene where the nukabot gives an alert to its surrounding human caretaker by saying, you need to steer me, based on the time elapsed since the last steering and the sensor data. In her discussion on speculative ethics in modern human world, Puch del Belacasa presents three elements of care that contribute to the formation of human ethical attitudes toward the ecosystem of the soil, including bacteria and the microbes. Accomplishment of daily maintenance, affective emotion, and a non-normative sense of obligation to take care of non-human beings. We consider these three ethopoietic elements can be applied to the relation between the fermenting microbes of a nukadoko and the human caretaker. So we introduce them to evaluate our HCI design of the nukabot. We conducted experiments with six participants to evaluate the effects of Nukabot in terms of fostering behaviors of care and affective feelings toward the microbes. Our qualitative analysis demonstrates that our design of the Nukabot affects positively all three ethopoietic elements presenting in Puchtel Belacasa's theoretical model of care. Indeed, the conversation function proved to not be only functional in helping people maintaining their Nukadokos, but also to create senses of al aliveness, kinship, and ethical obligation to take care of the Nukadokos. We consider the implications of such an HCI design, such as whether the Nukabot could replace existing traditional Nukadokos. The Nukabot helps by adding additional HCI interaction channels to the existing ones, such as touching, looking at, and smelling the rice bran, and serves as an intermediary communication device between humans and Nukadoko microbes. However, it does not replace existing sensual interactions. Our goal is not to create a reliance on technology to connect humans to microbes, but rather to use technology to support humans in noticing the existence of microbes better. We believe our research contributes to the fields of HCI related to the more than human worlds by providing a qualitative evaluation model for how human affection toward various non-human species evolves over time. It also contributes to the development of critical discourses in HCI to reassess the role of ICT in relation with natural environment. Thank you for listening.